solve for x, 2x minus 7 is less than or equal to 3. So to solve for this inequality, we can put x on the left hand side of the inequality and then everything else on the right hand side or we can put x on the right hand side of the inequality and everything else on the left. So we have 2x minus 7 is less than or equal to 3. Now we want to make x on the left hand side of the inequality. To do this we need to get rid of the negative 7 and move it across to the other side of the inequality. So we have minus 7 and we want to move it across. The opposite of minus is a plus. So then to carry over the 7 across, it would become plus 7. So now we have 3 plus 7 and this minus 7 is removed from the left hand side. So now we have 2x is less than or equal to 10. Now we have 2 times x is less than or equal to 10. This 2 is timesing x. So if we want to bring the 2 across the other side of the inequality, we need to do the opposite. What is the opposite of multiplying? That's dividing. So then we have to divide by 2. So then x now is, e is less than or equal to 10 divided by 2. And 10 divided by 2 is 5. Part 2 of this question says that x is a positive integer. x is a positive integer. Now an integer is just a whole number and if it is positive then that means that x can be 1. Now they say that x is less than or equal to 5 so x can be 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. This equal sign at the bottom here means that this is inclusive of 5. Okay, less than or equal to 5. So then x can take on the values 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. If the answer was x less than 5, then the list of values for x would be 1, 2, 3, and 4. Not including 5, okay? But this is your answer, and then this is your answer for part 2.